Oh, okay, and in this video, we're taking a look at the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, this is the deep purple color, um, 512 gigabyte model. Um, originally, I did want the space black one, but before I could even order it, it sold out like that. So I just had to make do and get the deep purple. Um, still looks good. Um, so yeah, we're going to unbox it and see what you actually get inside. So there's a tab up here. It shows you some information on the back if you're interested. So it's got a new 48 megapixel camera, same size screen as last year, pretty much the same design, but a few extra little features here and there. Uh, let's take this bottom bit off, take the two tabs off, and it should just come up. Obviously the box is a lot smaller if you're used to these boxes. There's no charging case. Uh, wow, first impressions is, I love the color purple. It's definitely like a much darker shade of purple and you know in, in different when it's slightly depends on the lighting situation it changes the purple it's actually very nice it's kind of when you have it in the light it's kind of brighter and when you kind of move it away from the light it has this nice darker color to it very nice so let's take this out wow let's put this to one side see what you get in here you got your uh, pin the SIM card pin. Interestingly, in the US, um, the US has a eSIM. I'm not sure how this works. I'm not sure if the UK have the eSIM in this. So I'll find out when I turn it on. Maybe I could use an eSIM on there. I'm not sure. Let's just put this to one side. It's got the charging cable here as well, which is just um, Type C to Thunderbolt. And that is pretty much all you get in the box. Very simple, not a whole lot. So let's get all of this one side and let's take a look at the phone itself you can see the colors are very nice so on the left hand side you've got the volume rocker and then you've got the mute switch and you've got the sim card tray right here the bottom you have your charging port and your speakers on the right hand side you've got your power button and at the top you've got nothing and on the back you've got the three cameras these cameras have been upgraded obviously with the 40, 48 megapixel cameras and some new sensors and stuff so it's pretty nice. Let's just take this off. Satisfying. There you go. There's the screen. I wonder if it's just in the correct line. You can see it's got the camera right there. It's got these sensors underneath the screen as well. So I think it's like a dynamic island at the top is what they're calling it. Let's just turn this on and see if it's got any power. Let's just start it up and see the start process. I'll be right back. All right, so it's just started up and it's going through hello. So you swipe up, select your language, English, and the country. United Kingdom. I will set up manually. I'm just going to connect to my Wi Fi. I'll be back in a second. So, after you've um, so connected to your Wi Fi, it's going to uh, take a few minutes to activate my phone. Um, after that's done, I'll be right back. Oh, it's just finished now. How convenient. Data privacy, face ID will set up later. Create a password, password options, don't use a password. Obviously, if you want to create a password, you will set everything up now. Use a password, don't transfer for data. I'm going to sign into my Apple ID, I'll be right back. All right, so I finished setting up the phone now. This is how it looks. It's just standard um, stuff. These are all your default apps on here. Um, had a quick look at the camera. Camera looks okay. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a um, a separate video showing you the 4K camera. If you want to see that, leave a comment section down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to see it as well. Um, also during the setup, I did notice that there was a. Um, it's, it asked me if I wanted to set up an e an eSIM, so I might do a separate video showing you how to do an eSIM as well. If you're really interested in that. 
Um, overall, that is about it. It's just a quick unboxing. And just another feature just to show you right there. I've literally just pressed this. And this is the always on display that is on. Um, it has one hertz refresh rate on the screen. So it's able to stay nice and dim. And it's pretty bright. So if you move the phone up, the screen comes on. But just like that, that's how the phone would stay um, on always on the screen. Always on display, sorry. Overall, the phone looks pretty nice. I do like the purple. Um, I do have a case for it and a screen protector. More videos on the way, so stay tuned for that. And that is about it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. Peace.